So here's a quick overview of how we package the XBR. First of all, the motor wires go through that hole right there, and the motor mounts onto the arm. The ESCs are either zip tied or VHB'd right here on the underside of the arm. Um, always remember to direct solder the motor wires and also remember to insulate the ESC from the rest of the frame because carbon fiber is conductive. Next we have the PDB which is a ready to fly quads uh, power distribution board. It's the same size as a NASE which I believe is a spacing of 30.5 millimeters. Um, we like to mount that with nylon screws and also remember to insulate the PDB from the frame. Uh, this is G10. You can use plastic or tape or really anything that will insulate the uh, PDB from the carbon fiber. And next we have the sandwich which you can find a video of how to build that uh, linked below. The sandwich is double stick tape VHB'd onto the PDB here with the front lining up with the uh, the beginning of the carbon fiber arm there as so the body will fit just right over there and it'll sit under this hood. And then we have the 5 volt step down Pololu regulator right here wired up to the ground and power of the sandwich thus powering the flight controller and the receiver all at the same time. And then lastly we have the FTDI extension which this is a older revision 2 Afro Naze. Um, the revision 3 FTDI comes out the bottom here and that you can just hot glue onto the bottom of the frame so that you can connect to it without removing your hood. This camera right here is the PZO 420M with a shorter pancake wide angle lens in it. As you can see this hood was designed to perfectly accommodate for this lens. Um, when installing the camera we're going to want to butt up the camera against the back top of the hood and put hot glue in three points of contact two in the back and then one just along right here to make sure that the lens doesn't uh, unwind on its own. Um, we also have some other cameras right here. These are HS1177Ms and as you can see they have the long stock lens. Um, when you're installing the stock lens on either of these cameras on this hood you're most likely going to have to remove the lens, put the lens in through the front, and then screw it back in, or you're going to have to just bore out the hole a little more so that you can fit the, fit the lens right through there. Um, there's also other options such as these ultra wide angle lenses, which we, that's actually a stock lens, the ultra wide angle lenses we prefer because you just have more visual information that you can uh, fly and race better with. We like to use straps that are 250 millimeters long to uh, mount it into the frame. Just feed it through the smaller triangles here. Have the buckle coming slightly out the side and then you can just strap your battery right on in just like that. Um, if you're using a thicker strap like this, you might need to notch your hood slightly so that it doesn't bend around the strap. Otherwise, you should be all right um, leaving it as it is. Let's talk about where to place the VTX. So, on this quad, we have it placed right here uh, next to the battery. It's actually just strapped in right next to the battery there with the antenna zip tied to the frame so that it's not going anywhere and you won't ever rip out your pigtail. Um, this quad also has a mic installed so that you can receive audio over the uh, video signal. Lastly we have the camera cable 
so you can easily plug and play your hood and remove it whenever you feel.